What's up YouTubers? Today we're going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Crusader Space Shuttle with Pilot Payload. And here she is in all her glory. This thing boasts retractable landing gear, opening hatches, retractable front guns, an opening console, as well as a detachable scout craft Avenger. Even though this mold was a reuse of the 1987 Defiant space vehicle, they've improved a couple of really major things on this that I think have improved it greatly. But before we get into the review, G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Homer can run, but he can't hide! The G.I. Joe Crusader is hot on his trail! Nobody beats G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe Crusader! Homer is shaking, shaking with fear! Crusaders go blasting from the stratosphere! Got ya! Launch the Avenger! The Crusader and Avenger are one top team! Gear down! Awesome! Nobody beats G.I. Joe! A real American hero! Crusader comes with pilot and adventure. Yo, yo! Now, back to G.I. Joe. After finally getting this in hand and looking this thing over, I have to tell you, there's not an ounce of space that doesn't have some type of detail on this. From the gold shaded windshields to the black cargo doors, even the gold boosters in the rear, this thing is amazing. From the three stabilizers in the rear, and the detail all over the hull, this thing really looks like it's made for space travel. They even thought of a removable nose cone, which hides the primary avionics. Looking at the top of the ship with the two bay doors, be careful when opening them because these two pins are very fragile. I found that if you open the door slowly and don't force it, they're less apt to snap off. Now you can see the Avenger Scout. This just rests in there flat, and notice that the rear tail fin goes in this groove. And you just lift it up and out. Looking at the canopy, this is one of the changes to the mold that I actually appreciate. Unlike the Defiant Space Shuttle, this doesn't have any of those clips under here. And I gotta tell you, it really makes for easy access getting in and out of the cockpit and it just clips back into place and stays put. And looking in the cockpit real quick, they have this ratcheting utility console which holds the upper figures in place. And the front seat sits low enough so that figure sits nice and snug as well. Looking into the cargo bay, the first thing you're going to notice on the immediate left is the EVA access point. This allows the pilot and other members to enter and exit the vehicle either on the ground or in space. I find the easiest way to open the airlock is reach underneath and just pop it open. And on the immediate right of the EVA airlock is the first umbilical cord port. Taking a look in the upper right you'll see another joystick and this is how the pilot can control the ship from back here. And on this side of the cargo bay, you can get a really good look at the main engine propulsion system. The amount of details that the designers put in this small area is just mind-blowing. And one other thing to notice is the floor of the cargo bay has plenty of foot pegs to hold your figures in place. And the second upgrade they did that I was talking about is they removed that mechanical arm that was in the center of the bay. Now there's plenty of room back here. Taking a fly over to the cockpit, you can actually see all the incredible detail that they fit in this small space as well. And one more quick look with the cargo bay doors open and the canopy off. Let's put the Avenger back in the bay. Close up the doors, and now you get a really good look at the faux high temp silica ceramic tiles that they molded all over the hull. Looking at the front landing gear, this thing offers rubber tires. And to put the landing gear away, it just flips up 
and flips right back out and locks in place. To expose the front retractable guns, you just pop open this bay door and you pivot the gun down. You'll see there's one on both sides. And just reverse the process to put them away. Looking at the rear of the craft, the blueprints call this a thrust diffusion nozzle which is detachable, and actually all three of them are removable. And the blueprints call this one a primary reaction control thruster. And there's two of those. And you'll also notice that there are two levers back here. And what this does is this retracts the rear landing gear. Simply slide it over and up, and it locks into place, and now it's nice and flush. And to reverse the process, slide it over, push it down, and you'll hear it click in place. Looking at the belly of the craft, you notice some more of these faux high temp silica ceramic tiles. There's the forward landing gear, the retractable gun doors the EVA airlock, and there's the second umbilical cord port. As I said earlier, no surface untouched with detail. Looking at the Avenger Scout, this is a direct remold and recolor of the drone from the 1986 Cobra Night Raven. payload standing next to the Avenger, you get a really good sense of scale. The hatch opens up. I like how they use the gold tinted windshield to match the Crusader. And as I zoom in, you really get a good look at all the detail inside. Unfortunately, I do have one complaint. The way this is designed, the figure is supposed to lay on his belly and slide into the control panel. Unfortunately, payload suit is just too thick and he doesn't fit. That's a good segue to take a look at payload. I really like this suit. The yellow and the white, the blue patches, the gray piece around his waist. Eh, for some reason he has a gun. Not sure why you would need that in space, but hey, that's imagination for you. And here's a look at payload with his backpack on is Gray MMU, or Man Maneuvering Unit. On the center of this is the port for the umbilical cord. It comes with two easily lost control arms that swivel up and you can hold on to. And here's a good look at his helmet as well. Looking at his articulation, he has a familiar articulation that we've come to know for a figure in 1989. His shoulders rotate 360 degrees, bend at the elbow, swivel on battle grip, he has the O-ring at his waist, Spartan kick forward. This is Sparta! 90 degree bend at the knee. His head looks left and right. He looks up about this far. And he looks down about this far. Put his helmet on. If you look underneath, there's two clips, one in the front and one in the back. And these just snap into place. And one final detail is this patch on his left bicep of the Crusader shuttle. And here's the umbilical cord. This is made out of 10 gauge stranded wire with a thin coating of rubber. 
And as you can see, this thing is really flexible. So what you do is you attach one end of this to the back of his MMU, and the other end to one of the two ports on the Crusader shuttle, and this simulates spacewalk. This has been my look at the 1989 Crusader Space Shuttle. I have to tell you, this thing is loaded with detail. And if you want to send your Joes into space, this is the vehicle for you. This is a great addition to the Joe arsenal. And now your Joes can go where no man has gone before. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, join the community. And remember, Share your knowledge. Yo, Joe!